<laughs> Good morning, campers. Hey, I got another song for you. Day after Christmas. And I think it's a good start with the Scorpions. Check this song out, man. This is 1978 this came out and man I I'm listening to it and I go man like why didn't this get more radio play so intense man now the scorpions I I, I I I didn't really get a chance to really get too much into them growing up and I think after listening to this one song, <laughs> I think I'm going to get back into the Scorpions, man. Like, serious. It rocks. I mean, that some serious playing going on there in that song. Um, what a weird Christmas, wasn't it, with the bombing in Nashville? I was, like, thinking to myself, man, like, Nashville Bombers sounds like a good punk band. What's really weird about it, man, is the whole, like, you know, like, ambient siren thing coming from the bomb vehicle itself, you know, like, warning people. Kind of sounds like, like, uh, like something you would, like, hear in a movie, like, the, the big distraction so they can pull off the bank robbery somewhere else, you know? I don't know, man. Maybe we'll find out one of these days. I'm going to get back to the song for a little bit. Oh, we're already halfway through it. You know, I, I want to mention some of the the faces that <laughs> this drummer makes in this video. If you get a chance to watch it later, I'll put the 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 name of the song so you can look it up. And, and it's, it's a, this is like a live uh, deal, it looks like, you know, where they're playing some sort of sound stage or something. But uh, the drummer, man, he makes some pretty classic rock star faces, you know.
that was the end of the song. You know, it, being from 78, that's before Iron Maiden, I wonder how much uh, Iron Maiden was influenced by Scorpions. You know, uh, Scorpions, I believe they're from Germany. That's another thing that's pretty unique about them. Still working away on this uh, then realized I was uh, drawing off camera I wish someone could yell at me Ray you're off camera I used to live in this uh, campground uh, called Thousand Trails as a kid and uh, I think I had a Scorpions tape back then, but uh, not sure. But uh, I did like that song, uh, uh, Gazoo or Zoo, where they were talking about uh, Zoo New York. I might have to play that one of these days for you guys. What time are we at? Oh man, we're barely at eight minutes. We got so much work to do on this one. I'm uh, staying away from her headdress today, man. I'm just not you. I'm not not feeling it. There's a whole lot of whole lot of dark. I could just keep filling in as I talk. Drink coffee and do some dots. Anyways, living in that campground, I used to, me and my friend Jerry, we pretty much ruled it. We built forts out in the hiking trails of the place. And we knew the, the places to go party and whatnot for the weekenders. That's what we called them. The people that would come up on the weekends to the party that, you know, or camp, whatever. So there, that's hinting why they were called the weekenders. And we were full timers, you know. Uh, <laughs> we lived in the campground, and uh, being like uh, I don't know, from the ages of fourteen to sixteen, when we were hanging out, hanging out, and doing stuff, whatever, being being rebels, being metalheads. It was cool times, man. I did some stuff to my parents that they ever knew, man. I had to get probably want to whip my ass. We had to keep eye on coolers where people were storing beers in and stuff like that, and and we'd steal coolers and get drunk and return the coolers sometimes even kind of funnier. So it's like you're like, damn it, they they took all of our beer, or did we drink all the beer? And we would do stuff like uh, turn off their water, pull their electricity, or uh, pull up their sewer pipe drain and stick underneath their motorhome so in the morning they took that first morning shit and just dumped everywhere. We didn't do something like that unless they were like complete assholes though. They had to, they, they had to, had to do something earlier that day. Used to be big in the Dungeons and Dragons back in those days too. Snow days. We just played Dungeons and Dragons. Don't even go out in it. I still don't like the snow. It's freaking cold. It's pointless. People that are ski are freaks. Snow freaks. Whose snowboard is that? It's not my snowboard. I say it's not my snowboard. It's not my problem. That's what I say. Get out of here. No way. It 
It's funny. I ran into a snowboard bro a long time ago, and he was just like, he's like, let's see if I can do the gesture. He's like, there was like this hill, and I jumped it once, and then over the third hill, and I was like, Whew. he was all into it. I was laughing. Bro hand signals. Yeah, she's coming along good. It's kind of funny. I got like a little chart that I uh, kind of put together how helped me uh, pick characters to draw. And, uh... <laughs> So, uh, oh, excuse me. So I, uh, been, uh, you know, uh, asking friends, you know, to pick a number, uh, several numbers and it, it, it narrows, narrows my, my pick down to what I need to be looking for. And then I go through and I look for the best ones out of that. And this came down to black actresses and I was like, wow. I try to think of roles, movies, and black actresses I liked. And I was like, well, Queen of the Dams are alright, that's cool. It was either her or Tina Turner from Mad Max. And uh, then I asked a few friends which one was cooler, and they were like, oh, the Queen of the Dams better. So yeah, this is taking the easy way out where you just know you've got a big piece of black and it's going to have to get done eventually. And, uh, you know, you just want to stay ahead of the game and get it done because that's the most time consuming as well. Might as well bang it out now. And try not to cheat. When you're doing these like drawings like this, you... You, you tend to, to, to kind of want to cheat a bit and scribble, and it shows. And I can see it, and I know other people can see it. It's the only reason why I only do it for like 15 minutes or a little short spurts, or I definitely will start cheating. And... I'm going to call that a full session there. Hope you guys have a good day. Be safe.